So this is the only video that you will have to watch to learn pretty much everything about Cloud Code. So if you ask me which is your favorite AI coding tool, in the top three, I'll definitely include Cloud Code and it is one of the best and most capable AI coding tools out there. But when compared with Cursor or other AI coding tools, using Cloud Code and getting started with the same can be a bit overwhelming, right? I mean, it's pretty simple and straightforward, but if you have only used tools like let's say Lovable, Bolt or Cursor, it can be a bit overwhelming. But by the end of this video, you will know pretty much everything about Cloud Code, how to use it, what are the plans like, what are the different ways to use it. And I'll also show you how you can create something using Cloud Code. And if that sounds interesting, without wasting any more time, let's quickly get started. So here I have opened up the official website of Cloud Code. And the first thing that you're going to do is to click the link in the description below and head over to cloud.com slash product slash cloud code. And this right here is the official website. And if you want to, you can actually go ahead and read through the content on this particular page right here. So right off the bat, I want to clear two things up. So the first one is that cloud code is actually a paid product. And in order to use cloud code, obviously you will need subscription or you will need access to cloud API. But if you're about to use cloud code directly with cloud API, it's going to be very expensive. And the best option would be to get a subscription like the pro plan or max plan. So if I scroll down, as you can see, here we have a couple of plans in here. So here we have the pro plan and that costs around $17 per month if built annually or $20 per month. And again, here we have the max 5x plan that is like $100 per month. And we also have the max 20x plan that is for $200 per month per person. So the first thing is that you need a paid plan. So in this one, I actually have the pro plan. And the second thing is that in order to use cloud code, you have a couple of different options. So initially when Cloud Code was launched, you only had like one option and that was to directly use it in the terminal. But right now, Cloud has actually went ahead and launched Cloud Code on the Cloud desktop app. And also we have a web version as well, which again, I'll show you in today's video. So the first thing, obviously, let's take a look at how to actually use Cloud Code directly within your terminal. All you have to do is to copy this particular command right here. So I can copy the same and then open terminal and then paste it in here or you can click on this documentation option right here. And after that, you can find the commands for installing Cloud Code on macOS or Windows via Homebrew, Windows, and even NPM. So if you already have NPM installed, you can simply run this particular command and you will have, you know, Cloud Code installed. But before that, if you're using it via NPM, make sure you have Node.js installed on your computer. And in my case, I have already ran this particular command and I have installed Cloud Code. So what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and open terminal and then I'll go ahead and open a folder. So here I have created a dummy folder called as uh, converter. So I have opened that folder and now I'll simply type the command that is Cloud and I can hit enter. And now that should open up Cloud Code. There you go. So basically the idea here is that depending on your computer and how you want to add cloud code, you got to run this particular command in your terminal. And after that, you can simply type cloud and hit enter in terminal and that should open up cloud code. And as you can see, first of all, it says, let's get started. And it is asking us to select the theme. So here we have a couple of different themes. So for this one, I'll keep it in the dark mode and I can hit enter. And now you have to log into your cloud account right from this instance right here. So as you can see here, we have two options. The first one is to use cloud code with a subscription. And the second is directly by using your API key. And again, I won't prefer you go with the second option because it is going to be hella expensive. So since we already have a cloud subscription, I'll select the first option. And now it will open up a page where you need to log in and authorize. So let me wait for it. All I have to do is to click on this authorize button right here. Okay, so it says you're all set up for cloud code. And if I open terminal, there you go. It says login successful and please enter to continue. Okay, enter. And now, okay, I can enter again. Uh, recommended settings. And there you go. We have successfully installed and opened up cloud code in our computer directly via terminal. And now before I show you how you can actually use cloud code in this terminal instance, I'll also show you how we can access the same on the web and also on the cloud desktop app. But before that, let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video. One thing you will notice pretty early with automations is that if your IP isn't stable, everything can break. Session reset, task fail halfway, and accounts even stop responding. And that's usually the point where people start looking for more reliable options. Most proxy providers don't really highlight this, but a significant chunk of the IPs that they provide, often around 25 to even 40 percent, can be dirty or flagged. And when you're running automations, that leads to random bans, blocks, and a lot of wasted time. 
and this is where NordMaven comes into the picture. They filter IPs in real time and they advertise that about 95% of the proxies that you get are clean. And in theory, that alone would reduce a large portion of the stability issues that people typically face. They also offer long session durations like up to 24 hours of stable sessions, which is helpful for things like longer automation runs, account management, or anything that needs consistent connectivity without constant reconnections. And they recently introduced something called as the speed filter, and it is designed to make page load faster and keep the latency as low as possible, which can be useful for browsing, research, or time sensitive actions. So if your workflow relies on stable and clean IPs, NodeMaven is definitely a tool worth checking into. And I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check them out. And also make sure to use the coupon that is Astro50 to get extra 50% discount for the first 50 users. Now back to the video. Next up, if you head over to this website right here, that is claude.ai slash code, you'll be able to access the web version of Cloud Code. And yes, you can also directly use Cloud Code on the web. And for that, all you have to do is to log into your Cloud account and then head over to cloud.ai slash code and you land on a page something like this. And first of all, I just want to make something clear. This is very different from using Cloud directly or let's say locally on your computer. So basically how it works is that initially when you log in, you'll be asked to select a GitHub account. So you have to link a GitHub account. And after that, you can also select and link individual repositories. And in this case, I have actually went ahead and linked my GitHub repo. And you can find a couple of these projects in my GitHub repo. And next up, what you have to do is that you have to select the repo in here, and then you can go ahead and give a prompt. For example, let's say you want to fix some bugs, you want to add new features, add a new page, whatever be that you want to do, you can just explain that in here. You can select the model. So here we have Opus 4.5, Sonnet 4.5, and even Haiku 4.5. And next step, you can click on the send button right here. And I'll show you a demo. For example, let's just open this one right here. Okay. That is add contact and about us page. So basically I went ahead and selected a repo and I gave this pretty elaborative and detailed prompt. So asking the AI to add a contact and about us page. And as you can see, it says, I'll help you add contact us and about us page to your image converter app. And let me start by exploring this code base structure to understand how pages are organized. And now Cloud code started working and all these lines of code that you see in green is what Cloud has actually added to our code base. And all this code in red is what it has deleted. And now what happens is that after adding all these pages and after adding all this code, Cloud code will go ahead and create a PR and you can open GitHub and review the PR and merge it. And that way you will have those changes added to your GitHub repo. So if you want to work on your project asynchronously, like you can give a prompt to Cloud code and have it run in the background, then you can directly use Cloud code on the web. And next up, if I head over to cloud.com slash download, I'll be able to download the Cloud desktop app to my Windows or Mac OS based computer. And you can click on this appropriate button and download and install the same on your computer. So in this case, I have already installed the same. So I'll open it up and there you go. Here I have opened up Cloud code. And now towards the top, you can find a toggle that says chat mode and code mode. And if I put it in code mode, I'll be able to directly access Cloud code directly within this Cloud, you know, desktop app as well. And again, the working and how it actually works is pretty similar to how you use cloud code on the web. So basically you go ahead and attach a repo or you can even work on local projects if you're about to let's say use it within the cloud desktop app and again you can select whether you want to go with the local version or the default one which is in the cloud and you can go ahead and give a prompt hit enter and the AI will start working on the same. So basically these are the three different ways you can use cloud code. The first option is that you can directly install cloud code locally on your computer and start using the same or if you want to you can actually use cloud code directly on the web or if you prefer to use it in the cloud desktop app well you have options for all that as well and now the primary focus of today's video is using cloud code directly in the terminal and here i have already opened up cloud code and now just as to show you a demo as to how to use cloud code here i have opened up a demo folder so basically the idea is that you have to navigate into that folder whatever folder where your project lives and then you can run the cloud command and open it up. So in this case, as you can see, I'm already in the folder and maybe I can run pm pm run dev and hit enter and start the dev server in localhost 3000. And as you can see, here we have a blank Next.js project installed. And next up here, I have opened up cloud in the same project folder. And now I can go ahead and give a prompt and start using cloud code. So how exactly does cloud code work you ask? Well, when you open cloud code for the first time, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see. And as you can see, we are using the Sonnet 4.5 model. And next up to code something or to ask the AI to do something, all I have to do is to give a prompt in here. 
for example if i type hi and hit enter there you go it says hello i'm claude code here to help you with software engineering tasks how can i assist you today so basically the idea is that whatever be that feature that you want to add the uh, bug that you want to fix or pages that you want to add or just about whatever be that you want to do well you go ahead and give a prompt in here before i actually go ahead and start giving a prompt to build let's say a sample website if i go ahead and type this slash simple i'll be able to find a couple of different options for example you can go ahead and add a new working directory manage agents clear it compact uh, uh, conversations you can configure the theme add context you can exit out of it you can export it you can find all the you know prompts you can manage id integrations in it you can log in log out MC, add mcp manage mcp you can configure the memory you can select the model that you want to use you have a bunch of different options in here and again if i'm about to explain all of this the video will be extremely long but you can go ahead and explore it by yourself for example let's say i want to switch the model that i want to use so in this case i'm in the pro plan and i'm currently using the sonnet 4.5 model but if i type slash model and hit enter as you can see here i have a couple different options for example let's say i want to move and start using the opus model and right now as you can see sonnet 4.5 is what we are using so i can simply select the opus one and i can hit enter and there you go it says set model to opus and now here i went ahead and reloaded cloud code and as you can see right now we are using opus 4.5 in a similar fashion you can simply type slash model and change the model and again if you want to add mcp servers you can simply type slash mcp hit enter and you can configure that in here so right now i have like two of them added that is cipher and pause hog which needs to be configured by the way but again you can actually go ahead and manage it in here i can press escape and come back and now that is basically the flow and next up let's just say i want to create a simple binary converter website all right so the user should be able to enter a piece of text and they should be able to convert it to binary and back and forth and that's like a basic and simple website that i want to create just for the demonstration purpose now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the cursor in here and i can simply go ahead and give a prompt i want to create a simple binary converter website the user should be able to enter a piece of text and convert it into binary and vice versa so i have already set up a next.js page project you can take it up from here so this right here is the prompt i'll begin with and just for demonstration purpose i want to create a simple app and now i'll hit enter and watch this so it says belowing yep yeah. every time cloud code is doing something it will show all these weird statuses and now as you can see it says i'll help you create a binary converter website first let me explore the existing project and as you can see cloud code is now going through all the individual files within our project to understand the project structure all the code that we already have all right so it found all these uh, packages and now it is reading the page.tsx file layout.tsx file okay so it says now i have a clear picture this is a fresh next.js 16 project with tailwind css4 i'll create the binary converter component since this needs client-side interactivity i'll make it a client component all right so let's wait and again you can also find how much token uh cloud code consumed in real time and there you go cloud code has made some changes to the existing page.tsx file that we have and now as you can see it says override file and it is asking our permission to override the file and here you have three options yes yes allow all edits during this session and you can also go ahead and instruct cloud code to do something differently in this case we want cloud code to override the page content and i'll select the second option so that it won't ask me again it will automatically override the file whenever it needs to and now it is updating the layout.tsx file and it says the binary converter is ready and let me start the dev server but we already have the dev server running so maybe i can hit escape to cancel that and there you go here cloud code has created a simple binary converter hi there my name is astro and i can hit convert and there you go this right here is the binary and maybe i can clear it up and switch it to the binary to text mode and i can enter the binary in here and click on convert and there you go hi there my name is astro so this is how simple it is to use cloud code on your computer and i just wanted to show you how you can actually get started and start using the same and again if you want to locally use cloud code then obviously you will have to add it to your computer locally and doing so is pretty simple and straightforward you only need to run one of these commands and add cloud code and you can simply log in and you should be pretty much good to go and again you have the option to use it on the web and also on the cloud desktop app and now depending on what exactly you are trying to achieve you can go ahead and give follow prompts or you can ask the ai agent 
whatever you want to do and get going from there you can spin up new sub agents you can add mcps tools you can do a whole bunch of different stuff and again you can take your time and explore cloud code and this is how easy it is to get started with the same i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one